Okay, and this is my follow-up report for January 20, 21st, 2020. So yesterday we had a second intent of a caravan, second caravan, aggressively trying to get in. As you can see in the, in the video prior to this one. Uh, so these people that are right here in the middle of the river are the ones that have not submitted to the INM. That have not asked for the, for the Mexican government's help. These are the people that are still trying to get across, but don't know if they're going to do it legally or le illegally. There's been um, there's been hundreds already that have uh, submitted to the INM their help and have been uh, turned over to shelters within Mexico, uh, which is pretty smart. I mean, those people are pretty smart. They're going to try to do it the legal way. And then we have, um, I mean, they could do it the legal way and do it the legal way, you know what I mean? Because I, um, I think like that. So if, if they're in the shelters, I mean, they could escape the shelters like they did last time and then, you know, go up uh but another another news we have this group and then uh yesterday we had a, a group of 402 406 people detained for trying to cross illegally and for um uh, throwing rocks at the national guard and some military personnel some inm personnel we've had um more uh, other people sorry trying to sneak in to different points of the southern border between guatemala We've had uh, two cities basically, not under siege, but under, um, like, under, it's compromised. I mean, we have, we have, we have all these um, Hondurians and Salvadorians at, at the border trying to get into different points. And two cities being Hidalgo and I forgot the other city. But this is what's going on right now. I'm going to put the video, I'm going to put it in silence because I've, I've heard everything that they said already. Uh, another reminder... Yes, there are some, some children, their families, and most of those have submitted themselves towards the Mexican government for their safety, to not get sick, and because of the harsh weather there is right there. Let me remind you also that in this river, there are a lot of mosquitoes. So there is a lot of people that are right there suffering because they want to, because they want to try and get in illegally. They're not thinking with their head straight. Uh, the people that have already submitted themselves towards the Mexican government to receive help and process their legal entry, who knows, maybe there's a future for them in the southern area, I don't know. But for now, this is going to be my report. We have uh, hundreds stalled outside of the border, and then we got um, we got like a couple more hundreds that have already submitted themselves to the Mexican government for help. So these are the people in the images right now that you're seeing. These are the people that are... Um, in between the yes or no to submit themselves. They're still trying to see if another caravan is going to come come by from the south. Or I'm talking about El Salvador. And maybe all together they're going to try again to try to um, rush the border and illegally enter. I mean, they do say that if, if, if you can't get in by yourself in bunches, you probably have a chance. But we're going to have to see how that plays out because yesterday it didn't play out too good for them. Okay, this has been my report. Have a good morning. Have a good afternoon, guys. Uh, I'm going to stick to this one. And I'll give you guys a follow-up video later on throughout the day, okay? Have a good day, guys.